Hola, Aquarius, Sun, Aries, Moons. Welcome to your 2024 Sun Moon reading. If it resonates, get for a personal pre recorder or live reading. Just click on the link tree below or text me at 646 902 5715. When you see this, is when you're meant to view it. It doesn't matter the time of year. Also, check out your 2023 Sun Moon readings that are still in my playlist. See if they rang true for you or somebody else. The first portion of this reading, I'll go over the traits of your Sun Moon combination, pull the main cards, and take a quick look at your 2024. The second portion, portion is in the Vimeo link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of those cards with clarifiers in addition to a card of advice for 2024. So let's go over your first of all out pop the four of swords in the upright for January, February, March but let's go over your Aquarius, Sun, Aries, Moon combination. So your mind, body, and soul are eternally restless. As a matter of fact most people can't keep up with you and your ever-changing endeavors. You're such a forward thinker focused on innovation and change that being absorbed in the present can be a challenge. Being an independent creature has its advantages and downfalls. On the one hand, you have your own carefree sense of style and often think outside of the box. On the other hand, your personal relationships can suffer because you have difficulty forging intimate relationships and relating your true feelings effectively. You're highly intelligent, but this can translate into being a little condescending and seeing others as peasants who can't compete with your intellect. Be sure to use great care in expressing yourself to others so you don't come off haughty or insensitive. One thing that you are never lacking in is creativity, courage, and brilliance to forge your, forge your own unique path in life. So, what else do we see for Aquarius Sun Aries Moons for 2024? Three additional cards, please. What do you see? What did I need to know? All right, April, May, June. What do we see for April, May, June? We have the Two of Wands in the upright. What do we have for July, August, and September? We have the Two of Swords in the upright. Decisions, decisions, decisions for 2024. And October, November, December. October, November, December ends on the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Okay, so you decisions, this, this is what we're seeing right here. Um, I was wondering if that was gonna be the case because in January, February, March, I see you really um, needing some space and some time to yourself. Uh, I don't know if you are just taking some downtime, a sabbatical, going on a retreat, um, you're getting counseling, um, you're just deciding to go to that, you know, cabin in the mountains or something, um, something like that. I feel like you're taking yourself out of things um, because I feel like one, you need to really kind of think things over. You need to kind of get your energy together because you feel that you're going to need it going forward in 2024. Um, so that's what I'm seeing for uh, the period of January, February, March. April, May, June, this is where you're kind of contemplating what you're gonna do. If you see, you're kind of standing here and you're wondering, should I stay or should I go? The two of wands for me is the fork in the road. Um, you know, staying with something you're pretty comfortable with or considering um, visions that you can bring to life that are actually out there. But this is a pretty sedentary card. It's not really doing anything. It's just kind of going over things in your mind, turning them over and over again, considering the possibilities. Um, and, and just kind of staying pretty stationary. Sort of waiting for for me how, um, in my readings, is how to see how things are gonna pan out or flesh out before you kind of make the decision. So being a little bit hesitant. Um, same thing, you're still thinking on this decision or considering this decision when you go into July, August, September because the two of swords in the upright. And another very stationary card where you're just kind of staying put. You're still kind of thinking on this. You're still hoping that information is going to come forward to help tip the scales one way or the other. You actually may not have been able to come to a decision earlier with your tangible senses. So what you're doing is um, kind of drawing on your other senses. The Two of Swords for me is a very intuitive card. It's kind of like, okay, what I see isn't what I get. So I'm going to take um, what I see out of it. I'm going to, I'm going to um, really kind of hope in on these other senses so I can figure out you know what I'm going to be doing and how I'm going to be moving forward I don't feel as though this is something a decision that has to be made immediately uh, I feel as though you know you're mulling it over you're thinking it over you're you know taking the time to kind of think on it which is crazy to me because you tend to be, um, you all tend to be a little bit impulsive. I don't mean to make a blanket statement in regards to that, but you are. Um, you usually see it, then you do it. But in this case, you're really kind of sitting on this and really kind of being patient. So this must be a pretty important decision you're gonna make in 2024. 
October, November, December, the Queen of Cups in reverse, I see you being very emotional. Um, and be really careful of that because I'm concerned that what's going to happen is you're going to make an emotional decision instead of a logical one. Um, you may be feeling really negative or you might be uh, feeling fed up, up or impatient or anything like that. And I think if you make a decision under um, th those kind of circumstances, I don't think it's going to bode very well for you. So I would really, you know kind of not kind of get worked up about whatever this is because I think like I said if you're not thinking with a clear mind you're not going to be making a clear decision so that's what I have for you all if it does resonate consider personal pre-recorded or live reading just click on the link tree below or text me directly at 646-902-5715 but definitely make sure you click on the video link below where I will have a deeper interpretation of these cards with these cards in addition to a card of advice for 2024 and then finally look me up on Facebook Instagram TikTok like share subscribe donate refer me to a friend in support of my efforts it's always greatly appreciated otherwise i will see you in the vimeo reading um justice card in the upright that's weird that it kind of came out this is just an additional card um for you this is a card of balance, doing the right thing, um, you know, making sure that whatever you're doing is going to be a fair uh, decision that you make and they're using your right head and making the right judgment. So there really is a big decision hanging over your head in 2024. So Aquarius, Sun, Aries, Moons, I will see you in the Vimeo reading. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.